Hi students, this is Alex here. In this video, we are going to find the Laplace transform of elementary function cos AT. As per the formula, Laplace transform of the function f of t is given by integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into f of t dt where t is greater than 0. Now using this formula we are going to find L of cos a t. This becomes integral 0 to infinity e power minus s t into cos a t dt. Here we find the integration is the product of two different functions. So we are going to apply integration by parts. Let's take i late. In this we find two different functions. One is e power minus st which is exponential and cos at is trigonometric. So whatever comes first in this order of i late is taken as u. So u is cos at and dv is another function which is e power minus st dt. From this we have to find du. Its differentiation is minus sin at into a. And this integration of dv gives v which is e power minus st by minus s. Now coming to this integration let us take i which is integral I am taking without limits e power minus st into cos at dt. Now applying this integration by parts the formula is u v minus integral v du. Whenever there is a product of two different functions one function is u other is dv its formula is u v minus integral v du. So limit at the end we can substitute. So let's substitute the value of u here. So i equal to u is cos at, v is e power minus st by minus s minus integral, v is again e power minus st by minus s and du is minus sin at into a and at the end there will be dt because it is differentiation with respect to t. Now just rewriting this, the first term is e power minus st into cos at whole divided by minus s. Here we find 3 minus, here on minus, here on minus, here on minus. Combining together we get totally single minus integral e power minus st by s because these two minus we can cancel. Now the remaining is sin at into a dt. So once again we find the product of two different function. So we are going to do integration by parts. For that we have to write i late and we have to mark the two different functions present which is e power minus st by s is exponential sin a t is trigonometric. In the order of i late whichever is coming first is taken as u which is sin a t into a and another one is dv which is e power minus st by s dt. From this as usual we find its derivative du which is cos a t into a already there is a so this becomes a square dt. Then if we integrate this we get e power minus s t by minus s already there is s so minus s square this minus is separate not inside the square. Now once again in this place we are going to apply the formula so i equal to first term e power minus s t into cos a t whole divided by minus s is written as this minus let us write the formula first u v minus integral v du. Now we go for substitution. So 
this becomes e power minus st into cos at divided by minus s minus open bracket sin at into a v is e power minus st by minus s square then minus integral v du so integral v is e power minus st by minus s square and du is cos at into a square dt and bracket close now rearranging the terms i equal to first term as it is e power minus st into cos at by minus s then when i take the minus inside it will become plus and if i rearrange a by s square constant is written as it is then e power minus st then the trigonometric term sin at then once again we find there are three minus that is this minus and this minus become plus and there is a common minus outside so finally this become minus integral if i write the constant term a square by s square remaining is e power minus st into cos at dt now already we have named the term i in the beginning which is nothing but e power minus st into cos at dt we find this entire term here along with some constant a square by s square so this can be replaced with a square by s square into i so once again coming from the beginning of the term i equal to e power minus st into cos at by minus s plus a by s square e power minus st into sin at minus a square by s square into i now this term can be taken here as a positive so i plus a square by s square into i equal to the remaining terms we can take e power minus st common and the remaining is cos at by minus s plus a by s square sin at then bracket close so on the left hand side we can take lcm which is s square and this will become s square i plus a square i equal to we have to copy this entire term then we have to take i common so remaining will be s square plus a square divided by s square once again we have to copy this term as it is now finally we get i from this that is i equal to now this numerator will come as a division to the other side so e power minus st divided by s square plus a square and this denominator s square will go as a product to the other side that is s square open bracket rest of the terms as it is now we are going to multiply this s inside that is s square inside so first term e power minus st by s square plus a square after multiplying inside we get remaining one s and then negative term so we can write it as minus s cos at and this s square when we multiply here gets cancelled and we get only a sin at plus c will come but here we are going to use a limit so we don't put plus c when we apply the limit so coming back to the limit integral 0 to infinity e power minus st into cos at dt equal to this entire term we are going to apply the limit e power minus st by s square plus a square into minus s cos at plus a sin at bracket close and we have the limit from 0 to infinity we are going to apply the upper limit wherever t present we substitute the upper limit this becomes e power minus infinity divided by and uh, 
here these terms as it is a square a square everything since e power minus infinity is equal to 0 when we apply the limit for the entire term the entire term becomes 0 so it is better we write 0 directly then minus coming to the lower limit when we apply 0 here e power 0 anything power 0 is 1 so we left with 1 by a square plus a square and when I put 0 here cos 0 is 1 so we left with minus s and sin 0 is 0 so totally the remaining terms are after taking this minus sign together this minus and this minus combined it become plus so the final value is s by s square plus a square thus we got the Laplace transform of cos a t which is nothing but s by s square plus a square and here the value of s is considered as greater than 0.